subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Splunk Enterprise Certified Admin. So let's get started. Question number 1, which setting in indexes.conference allows data retention to be controlled by time? Your options are A max days to keep B move to frozen after C max data retention time D frozen time period in sex The correct answer is Option D. Question number 2. The universal forwarder has which capabilities when sending data? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. Sending alerts B. Compressing data C. Obfuscating or hiding data D. Index or acknowledgement The correct answer is, Option D. Question number 3. In case of a conflict between a whitelist and a blacklist input setting, which one is used? Your options are A. Blacklist B. Whitelist C. They cancel each other out D. Whichever is entered into the configuration first The correct answer is, option A. Question number 4. In which Splunk configuration is the said chemd used? Your options are A. Props.conference, B. Inputs.conference, C. Indexes.conference, D. Transforms.conference. The correct answer is Option A. Question number 5 Which of the following are supported configuration methods to add inputs on a forwarder? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. CLI. B edit inputs.conference, C edit forwarder.conference, D forwarder management. The correct options are option A and B. Question number 6 Which parent directory contains the configuration files in Splunk? Your options are The correct answer is option A. Question number 7 which forwarder type can parse data prior to forwarding? Your options are A. Universal forwarder B. Heaviest forwarder C. Hyper forwarder D. Heavy forwarder The correct answer is, option D. Question number 8. Which Splunk component consolidates the individual results, and prepares reports in a distributed environment? Your options are A. Indexers B. Forwarder C. Search Head D. Search Peers The correct answer is, option A. Question number 9. Which Splunk component distributes apps, and certain other configuration updates to Search Head cluster members? Your options are A. Deployer B. Cluster Master C. Deployment Server D. Search Head Cluster Master The correct answer is, option A. Question number 10. Where should apps be located on the deployment server that the clients pull from? Your options are The correct answer is, option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.